I said in my last video that I wanted Rihanna to come out with more products. But when I asked, I didn't think that she was going to snatch my edges like this. I didn't feel... I thought I was asking in a nice way. I, I, I feel attacked right now. I feel, I feel attacked. I don't feel like I was ready. And it's just, it was just a really hard way for me to start 2019 off being shaken up like that, you know? And I need the cure. Hey. 100. Burn. Woo. Your girl's back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. It's been a while, I know, I know. Don't be too excited, okay? <laughs> don't gas me up, okay? I don't, I don't need that, my head's big enough. <laughs> Before y'all get a chance to say anything, we're gonna talk about the elephant in the room, these nails. I don't have an answer, I don't have a reason, I don't, just don't, don't come for me. I know they're bad, I know. So, I'm back with another video. Today, y'all know, Rihanna, she's coming, she's she's here. I asked last time, I told Ri, I said, hey girl, you know, I was hoping that you would release more products, you know, and I thought I asked her nicely, but she was mad, so she came for my edges, and now we've got some new products. I mean, we got, we got some things here, guys. Not only did Rihanna extend her foundation shade range, like, she added concealers, guys. We don't have to struggle with matchsticks anymore. I know y'all don't like matchsticks. Nobody really cares for matchsticks that much. Like, don't even front. Don't front in the comments. We needed this. This was a must. We This had to happen. We got setting powders. We almost can do a full face of Fenty, y'all. We're so close. All we need is brow products, some blushes, and some bronzers. I've been asking for bronzers for a while. Come on, Ree. But here, here's some tea, okay? The foundation, y'all know good and well already. This is a mattifying foundation. The concealer is not too far off. So if you have some dry skin going on and you know that you tend to soak up products and it just like dries up on your face, this just may not be for you. But if you oily like me, we got a product for us guys. This stuff, the formula, the doe foot, the applicator, bomb, love it. And this powder, Rihanna, she was coming for wigs with this, okay? Like I'm here for this powder, it's just, Look at the packaging though, like look at this. Let me pull out the receipts, okay? I got receipts for y'all. The powder, this beautiful product, only $32. I feel like that's really reasonable for this size of product compared to Laura Mercier, it's the same amount of product. The concealer is $26 and I feel like that's a reasonable price as well. Right now, I'm just casually trying to get Rihanna's foot off my neck because like, She's got her foot on everybody's neck right now. She's not playing any games with us, guys. We have to be very careful what we ask for, okay? Because when she gives it to us, you need to be ready. You need to be ready. Let me know what y'all think about this foundation shade because I did try a new one. Be nice to me in the comments, okay? Don't, don't do no funny stuff. But if you guys like this channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Give me some feedback. Let me know if you got the products yourself. And I will see you guys in the next clip. Usually my foundation shade is 390 and this is what I've had to kind of adjust to. 390 is definitely not my perfect shade because it's a little bit, it's a lot of bit orange. I mean, I think everybody that has 390 knows that this shade is extremely orange and we've been dealing with it, right? My Sephora IQ told me that I was 370 but they tried it. I'm not gonna do that because that shade is way too light for me and I don't play those ashy games. We don't we don't do ashy foundation around these parts. So on the website, 390 is for tan to deep skin with warm yellow undertones. And for me, I didn't feel like this read very yellow. It read more orange than anything. 385 is for tan to deep skin with neutral undertones. So I'm gonna show you guys a comparison between these two shades so that you guys can kind of see what I've been working with and what I'm gonna try out today. And you guys let me know what you think. Hey girl. I'm gonna start off with 390. This is the shade that I've been using and I'm gonna swatch this right here. You guys can see, I mean, what do y'all think? I think it looks pretty orange. And now I'm gonna show you guys the swatch of 385 right next to it. Ooh, chow. Ooh, I hate to say it, but 385 looks really, really, really light to me. 
Mm. <laughs> I actually wore this yesterday and I thought it looked really, really good. So now that I'm seeing this really, this big swatch on my face, I'm kind of like, were you looking ashy yesterday and you didn't know? We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a full face using 385 and we're gonna see how it looks. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start off by using the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. This is like a little sample that I got at Sephora because I don't have the full size. And this primer to me is more like moisturizing than anything. It's not a mattifying primer. I do think this primer works well with this foundation though, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the 385 foundation. I think that blended in pretty nice. I always thought that my skin was more of a warm undertone than anything, but this being a neutral undertone, I guess I, it kind of works out. I mean, if Rihanna says I'm neutral, then I'm neutral. I'm sure everybody has tried this foundation already. I feel like there's a lot of mixed reviews about this foundation. For me personally, I love the Fenty foundation. I don't feel like it emphasizes anything on my skin, and I also feel like it wears really well throughout the day, so I'm a fan. But if you have problematic skin and you, you have dry skin, this foundation is probably not suited for you. I can only speak from my point of view because I have oily skin and girl, it takes a lot of work to make sure that my skin is not getting oily throughout the day. I'm gonna do a second coat. I'm gonna blend down my neck just in case. And I also don't think this is like my perfect MASH foundation, but I feel like I can get by with this foundation. I can't tell if my skin looks a little bit flat. I don't think my skin looks ashy at all with this foundation or with the neutral shade, but I do think that my skin looks a little bit flat with this shade and not as vibrant as I usually like my foundation to look. I'm color correcting right now underneath my eyes. Before I apply the concealer, because I always color correct. You kind of have to do it if you have really pronounced dark circles like I do. So yeah. I wouldn't really be doing this concealer justice if I just went ahead and applied it straight on without color correcting because God knows good and well I don't wear no concealer without color correcting. I would be lying to y'all. Boom, we're done. For the concealer, I picked up the shade 370, and you know what? I was irritated at Sephora because they didn't have all of the concealer shades out, which I thought was kind of weird, like, why don't y'all have all the shades out on lunch day? They said they didn't receive some of them. So I went back and forth between the shade 360 and 370, but 360 to me looked a little bit too neutral for what I like, and then 370 I thought, had a lot of pinky tones in it. So honestly, I didn't find the shade of concealer that I would personally look for, but I picked up the best match that I could find and it was 370. Also, I didn't wanna pick up a concealer that was like way too light because I kinda of feel like with Fenty, since she came out with corresponding shades, the whole goal is to make your skin look as natural as possible and not that overly highlighted look that everybody's going for right now. I feel like there was a purpose, but of course I went lighter, you know. I like to be a little bright up under here. It's dark already. I got 370 because I wanted a slight brightening effect, not over the top, but 385 underneath my eyes just wasn't gonna cut it for me. It just, it just wasn't gonna do it. So like a long doe foot applicator. Ooh, I like it. This applies really nice and creamy, and if I had to compare this to another concealer, it would definitely be the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, but this one is way more creamy. It's like creamy, moussey, if that makes any sense, whereas NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is more just, it's just creamy, but this is creamier than that, so. This formula, legit, okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend this out. It dries a little bit faster than the concealers that I'm used to working with, just a little bit faster. But not too fast where you don't have time to work with the concealer. I'm 
Hmm. Do y'all see that? Ooh. <laughs> Riri! Yes! Yes! I love this. This formula, I don't feel like the concealer is quite as matte as the foundation, but it's pretty matte. It's pretty matte. But I don't think it's as drying. I really like this formula. Mmm. I don't know, I kind of feel like the concealer underneath my eyes and the undertone of the foundation is kind of clashing just a little bit, I don't know. Like this concealer might have done a little bit better with the shade 390 in foundation. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more right in this area. I need a little help right there. I need a little bit of help. I'm gonna blend it really lightly. I don't wanna over blend it out. Do y'all ever wonder, like, when companies say that foundation or concealer is creaseless, like, what exactly does that mean? Because I have creases under my eye, so naturally it's gonna crease, and I think everybody has creases under their eye. I don't get it. It's already creasing, but I don't think it's because the concealer is bad, it's just that that's how people's under eyes are set up, they crease. I'm gonna use a setting powder that she launched as well, and I picked up the shade Honey. I picked this one up because I felt like it was more of a more natural skin-like finish. I think I have enough bright setting powders and I wanted to give this one a try. It's a light brown shade with nice yellow undertones and I feel like it looks really, really good. So I'm gonna dip my sponge into this. Let's see what it looks like under the eye. Okay. And it also says that honey can be used to brighten for anybody that's in the 300 range. I do feel like it's brightening a little bit. This is enough. I don't need it to be that bright underneath my eyes for a natural look. But honestly, I think if you're like the shade 300 or you're the shade 310, 320, I don't think this, this is not gonna be a good setting powder for you. You probably would wanna go up a shade in setting powders because it might just blend into your skin or be a little bit darker than your skin, actually. I've seen some people getting the shade Banana, but honestly, I swatched Banana in the store, and Banana was looking real stark on me. I didn't like that. I'll, I'll take this one. I really like this. This setting powder is really soft, and it's very satiny. I really like it. It's not, seems like it applies good coverage as well. So you might be able to use this setting powder alone. The powder has like a very faint smell, very similar to the foundation, but it's not enough to make you go choking or nothing. Like it, it's very, very faint. It's not too harsh of a smell. I don't find it offensive, okay? What do y'all think about this underneath my eye? I think it looks really good. For me and my skin tone, I think this is bright enough. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna contour my nose and my cheeks as well. I'm using the Fenty Truffle Matchstick. I'm gonna contour and a little bit down the nose. Honestly, I don't think the matchsticks are a big hit with her line. Um, I really do not like the concealer matchstick, the one that's supposed to brighten under your eye. It is not a thing for me, like, mm, I do not like matchsticks for under the eye at all. But I feel like matchsticks are so good for contouring, like the shades are perfect. The consistency is perfect for contouring, but the minute you start trying to put this stuff under your eye, that's where you messed up. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. It's a little bit too dry of a formula for me under my eye. But ask me about a nose contour, and I'm gonna tell you, we snatched. All 2019, snatched. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of bronzer to my cheeks. I'm gonna apply some blush now. I'm gonna use the other matchstick in the shade Redick. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit on my hands because these tend to get a little bit dry. I'm gonna lightly dust that on my cheeks.
I'm gonna go ahead and dust away the setting powder that I used under my eye, because I still haven't dusted that away. I quickly did an eye look, threw on some lashes, I didn't do anything major on my eyes guys. But now for highlighter, I'm going to apply the shade Rum to the high points of my cheeks and I'm going to use the same exact brush that I've already used. And that's going to give me a nice little glow. Oh yes, baby. Yes. Y'all see that? Mmm, catch that glow. Woo! This is so pretty. I kind of feel like this matchstick is kind of underrated because I don't really use it that much, but it's pretty. I'm going to run it down my nose as well. And then a little on my cupid's bow. Do I look dewy and juicy yet? Do I look? And I know how much y'all love this highlighter right here. Y'all love this highlighter. For the sake of the video, I'm going to apply this on top. I'm doing this for you, Rihanna just for you, just a little bit. This is for all the diamond bomb lovers out there. This is for y'all, cause I don't, I don't use this. But for today, for Re, it's done. I'm gonna use Uncuffed Stunna Lip Paint. I'm feeling like a bad bitch. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my original gloss bomb over the top. Mm, yeah. All right guys, and I'm snatched. Mm. We're quickly gonna go ahead and see if this passes the foundation flash test. Let's look. Mmm, you're all looking cute. And y'all know these iPhone flashes, they don't lie to you, they tell the truth. She was right, no flashback. Flashback where? Fl flashback where? Huh? Who? Who? Who's clocked? Unclockable. Um, okay, do y'all see this in this natural lighting? I'm unclockable right now, like I'm literally Everything matches so well. Even though the foundation looked really, really light on that swatch that I showed you guys earlier, I mean, do, do y'all see this? I'm telling y'all, if y'all have oily skin, I really do suggest this foundation. The concealer, it's giving my Born This Way foundation a run for its money. Like, they're both gonna be in very close rotation, and I don't know who's gonna be the winner, but I mean, do y'all see that? Rihanna, you was coming for edges, sis. I'm absolutely in love with the foundation, the powder, the concealer. If you're my shade or darker, I really don't think that you guys need to use the banana setting powder. I think honey is just fine for your under eyes and all over the face. Let me know what you guys think and I'm gonna be taking some selfies because I'm feeling myself. Rihanna got me gassed up. Thank you guys so much for liking. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.